need to get something off your chest? Maybe you just want to give somebody a shout out. Sound off for rant or rave. The Mike Farwell Show, City News 570. Simulcast on Rogers TV Cable 20. This hour of the Mike Farwell Show is brought to you by Finest Sausage and Meat. Visit finestsausageandmeat.com. Finest Sausage and Meat, when only the finest will do. If you- it's that part of the week when old man yells at Cloud is fair game. Rant or rave continues on the Mike Farwell Show. City News 570. Simulcast on Rogers TV Cable 20. Our phone lines are lit up like a Christmas tree. I know, it's kind of like a cliche, but tis the season after all. I knew that whoever it was that decided that rant or rave should be a Monday morning feature, it was a stroke of genius. I just knew it. I can't remember who made that decision, but gosh darn it, was it a great decision. Okay, I made that decision six years ago. We thought, what better time to rant or rave except on a Monday after the weekend? Get the Mondays gone and just give us a call and get stuff off your chest and onto the air. Phone lines are busy. Enough for me. Let's get right back to it. Gary, good morning. Good morning, Mike. How are you? I'm excellent, thank you, sir. How are you? Well, my blood is still boiling from from last week. As you know, Joss and I are professional school bus drivers. And her route, she had two people go through her stop sign. And one of our competitor sharp bus drivers, she caught a car going through their stop sign. When is the provincial government, I'm hoping someone's listening that's on, is a MPP, when are they going to put a bill forward to put cameras on buses before some of our little people or one of our little people get hurt or gosh, knows what happens? I mean, we had a pilot program a few years ago and it was scrapped. I mean, don't have to do all the buses at once, but let's let's start at least with our our high traffic areas where buses or cars are going through our buses stop sign before someone does get hurt. Gary, thanks very much. I appreciate the call. I would be more than happy to see that technology installed on school buses and on the stop arms so that we have the cameras and we can find the violators and we can throw the book at them, like hard, like right in the face, throw that book. Because honest to goodness, not much chafes my chaps more than that. It's just inexcusable behavior. I am here to tell you, and I promise you I mean this, you're not that important. You just aren't. Wherever it is you have to be in such an awful hurry, it's not that important to pass a school bus with its stop arm extended. Please, stop this. And yes, let's get cameras on those stop arms so that the jack wagons who do run around them will be caught and punished to the full extent of the law. Chris, rant or rave over to you. I got to rave about the Kitchener Rangers. All right, let's hear it. I love the fact that it's <clears throat> such a small town, big hockey feel that then they bring in schools to do the national anthem. I just found out my daughter gets to sing the national anthem at the Sioux, uh, or sorry, for the Sioux on December fifteenth. Sweet, yes, yes, man, and 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 it's such a big hearted feel. I, I I never thought about that before. You know how. The Kitchener Rangers just put out, oh, just, I'm sorry, man, I'm losing words here. Yeah, I'm just very excited to see them on TV and be there at the same time and maybe come see you. Please do. Usually the families that have the kids there singing for the choir get seats up in the blues, and I'm not far from there. Excellent. I would love to come visit. All right, buddy. We'll see you then. Yes, man. Thanks a lot for the call. Uh, the Kitchener Rangers put the U in community, right? And look. Other teams are doing it too. That's one of my favorite parts about the Ontario Hockey League. These teams get very much invested in the community. And what a thrill it is for those youngsters to have the red carpet rolled out for them and they walk on out there to sing the national anthem before the game in front of that huge crowd in that huge hockey arena. And then they get to go back into the stands with their parents, enjoy the game, get full of sugar, run around the arena. I mean, that's the stuff of Friday nights in this town. Love it. Always has been. Mark, rant or rave to you. Morning, Mike. I've got a rant for a change. Uh, all right. Hey, where have you been, buddy? It's been a while since I've heard from you. Uh, just doing things. Mike. Okay. You got things to do. I get it. What's your rant? Okay. Um, I've got a hard time, Mike, with this GoFundMe page to find a missing cat. 
Okay. You know the story I'm talking about? I I believe I do. The cat that was stolen from a store in Waterloo? Yes. Yes, and a man was arrested, and now there's a GoFundMe page, I hear. Correct. Okay. Um, I I just have a hard time wrapping my head around that, Mike. Um, it's a cat, for goodness sake. So I don't know. I, I <laughs> yeah, Mark, I you're right. Go find another one wandering around the neighborhood, right? Uh, there's quite a few, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're going to have GoFundMe pages for a million cats. Oh, um, gosh, I love it. I love it. Okay, Mike. Okay, Mark. Have a good one. <laughs> I will now. Thanks. You just made my day. I hate cats. Like, honest to goodness gracious, I cannot stand cats. And, you know, my coworker, bless his heart, I saw him share on Instagram the other day. His story was about he had his hand petting a little cat and it said instant dopamine hit. And I, I resisted because you can love cats. It's fine. I don't. It's as simple as that. And I'm kind of with Mark. If one cat goes missing, just go find the other one in the neighborhood. <laughs> That's the thing that drives me nuts about cats, right? Because cats think, well, and, and the people who are apparently responsible for the cats just allow them to wander aimlessly through neighborhoods and stuff. It makes me a little nutty. Remember that statistic? It's over 100,000. I'm going off the top of my head here, but I'm, I'm sure it was north of 100,000 cats just wandering in various darkened corners of our community. I don't understand at all. Anyway, don't even get me started on GoFundMe pages. Like, I, I get that it's a way to generate support for things, but there's no, there's no tracking of the money i i want to i want a tax receipt for my donations usually but anybody that wants to start a gofundme page and can find willing enough people to throw money at it who knows like I, maybe i'll start a gofundme page for the i don't know go fund me for when i'm fired and and help me have a softer landing maybe you'll donate 10 bucks or 20 bucks you get enough people doing that maybe i can just retire instead of waiting to get fired i don't know anyway i went on a tangent there Mark, thanks for the <laughs> thanks for the rant about the GoFundMe for a cat. An update from the City News Center. We're not done yet. We're only halfway through our rant or rave hour. Give us a call. Get it off your chest and onto the air on the Mike Farwell Show. This is City News 570 and Rogers TV. Whether you want to give somebody heck or give kudos, it's your turn to rant or rave on the Mike Farwell Show. Call 519-570-2545. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike Farwell. Waste not, want not. Throwing out food is a huge no-no, and the way grocery bills are these days, many people can't afford to throw out food. I know some folks love buying prepackaged meats, but you can't get anything better than buying straight from the source, like finest sausage and meat. Customers love to get their product sliced right in front of them, so there's no waste, like when you buy prepackaged meats. Get exactly what you need with deli meats sliced to order. That's how you shop smarter. And with the holidays coming up, you're probably racking your brain about what to get for friends, family, your kids' teachers, and your clients. Finest Sausage and Meat makes custom gift baskets, so you can pick one up for a friend, client, a host or hostess gift, or someone in your family. This holiday, shop Finest Sausage and Meat. You can find them at the Kitchener and St. Jacob's Farmer's Market and at their retail store on Trillium Drive. Put Finest around your table this holiday season. Check out finestsausageandmeat.com. Finest Sausage and Meat, when only the finest will do. 